Join us on a post-frontal muskie hunt in northern Wisconsin as we downsize our presentations and formulate a killer plan to trigger a strike under tough conditions. We have no uh, weather to work with today. I'm pretty sure today is just a northwest wind special. Um, and so in that case, I'm predicting small baits and jerk baits. Uh, we're really going to have to make our own action take place today. This is one of those days where we're definitely relying on the moon for something to happen. I mean, we have no environmental change. This is a classic example this afternoon of we know where the muskies are. This is a lake that we have absolutely dialed in right now. Um, and it's a matter of getting these fish to react. I think that we've got the moon in our back pocket. We're going to rely heavily on that for maybe some kind of window. So sometimes even with the moon under the, under the toughest conditions, muskies will be live up to their name and be freaking tough to catch. You know, we got a whole day. We got, you know, like we said, from 10 to 10 to kind of make things happen here. So, you know, I think we got to try both. We got to try the rocks. We got to try the weeds. If it's not happening in one area, then hopefully it's happening in the other. And, and we're going to probably bounce back and forth until we make something happen. So. Facing the post-frontal bluebird conditions, I decided to start by throwing one of my all-time favorite producers for a tough bite, the Baby Depth Raider and Fire Tiger, which is one of my favorite colors in stained water. When environmental conditions are less than favorable, I have found that muskies will still hold in the same areas that you would normally find them in during ideal conditions, but that they will move a bit deeper in the water column, which is a perfect situation to throw a small deep diver. Muskies are notorious for not only being one of the most ferocious freshwater fighters, but also for striking when you least expect it. Tiger muskie. God only knows how some of these fish come off, but the action's pretty off. Literally the first cast of the day, baby depth raider. They're all the ones you catch that you thought were going to come off sometimes. Sometimes ones you think you should catch come off, just the way it goes. So definitely get this on our, uh, on our edge right away this morning. We're dialed up, so we're going to stay here and get a couple spots. Uh, close range where we lost this beautiful tiger muskie. I think it was a pike. I saw these two beautiful, it almost looked like a big northern pike, but we'll check the footage tonight. Uh, anyway, we're going to check some stuff here. Let's rock. Our hopes were high after running into a nice muskie on the very first cast of the trip, but as we continued our hunt, it was clear that these muskies were playing hardball. After nine hours of hunting a wide variety of structures, we had only triggered one follow from a nice fish, but we could not get her to strike. And as I thought through our movements over the course of the day with Mike, I came up with an interesting idea. That although the classic windblown spots we were fishing were holding bait fish, that maybe the cooler post-frontal winds had actually cooled the water and the muskie's attitudes. So why not try fishing completely out of the wind? This was a complete change up from our initial game plan, but the idea was simple. The slack calm water would be slightly warmer than the cooler windswept waters, and maybe this would be enough to activate a muskie during the solar peak. God, the strike you really is gonna be insane. Called that, dude. That was unreal. And I freaking called it, man, dude. Gosh. Yes. We needed that. We're bad. on the board, baby. We are on the board. We needed that bad. Yes, we did. Dude, oh. she came back. 
I saw. I'm glad you had. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Oh my god! I knew I needed. To wow, Mike, this is a beautiful fish and a hard-earned muskie. Wow. We really, really needed this one to <laughs> kind of get our spirits back up after today. You're darn right, man. Guys, sometimes you just got to stick with your hunches, and uh, it can pay off big. Wow. Let's get her back. Well guys, this muskie is nine hours into our trip. I mean, talk about a ball buster of a day, man. Really, it's been a weird day. We got out here and uh, Chaz actually hooked a nice tiger in his Beautiful very first fish. very first cast. I mean, I wasn't even ready to, to cast no, yet. No, I mean, the cameras were rolling, but it was literally cast number one. Number one. And uh, unfortunately, lost the fish for whatever reason. And here we are nine hours later. Yeah. So, and we have, you know, what we've been doing today so far is rocks, weeds, rocks, weeds, rocks, weeds, just bouncing back and forth. And we've raised, we raised one really big fish, went back on her right at moonrise and didn't see her. We were kind of disappointed. We had one other follow, I mean, nine hours. And we're sitting here kind of, and, and I, by the way, before we came over here, I got to admit, I mean, I, I had a feeling about the shoreline. I said, Mike, we're going to catch one between the birch tree and the big dead pine. And we got one. Made it happen. Made yes. it happen, dude. Well, there's something about trusting your instincts sometimes. When you spend a lot of time on some of these bodies of water and you really get to know them, sometimes a spot just looks right, mm -hmm. you know? And anybody who's spent a lot of time on a certain body of water knows that a certain shoreline, maybe it's the way the sun's kind of setting on it at the end of the day or whatever it is, it just brings back either a memory of a, a good fish catch or something like that and you just kind of got to go with it and be confident and that's exactly what we did here man you gotta trust your hunches you do so we are going to get this moment get this musky trip today really rocking now we got some momentum going into the afternoon evening bite here could be a really good sunset bite here well it can only be good from here on out because <laughs> we haven't done anything yet all right man let's get going all right let's do it Guys, it's been a long day. Mike and I have been busting our ass out here and a little coffee left. Ah, nothing like coffee at 8.42 at night. Whatever gets the job done. As the sun set and the evening drew to a close, we did not see any other musky action. We went back on the big fish we had raised earlier in the day, but she did not show herself even as we cast into first darkness. And although the muskie action was slower than we would have liked, Mike and I were still very happy with the muskie we caught because our tactic of getting out of the wind worked and we won under super challenging conditions. Chaz Martin's Musky Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products, and by St. Croix Rods, Best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less.